What's up guys, Justin here from thesketchupessentials.com. Um, quick video today, uh, the one I was originally going to make didn't quite work out, so I wanted to, uh, so basically in this video I wanted to talk about how to stamp and uh, thicken objects using joint push pull into kind of flat profiles. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so a lot of this video is kind of stemming out of my video on how to use slicer to create slice terrain, and I'll link to that in the notes down below. But what happened is uh, basically in the middle of that video, or a little bit after that video the the interface for joint push pull got changed a little bit so I just wanted to talk about a couple of those options where those are and a couple of the things that you can do with that so you're gonna have to have the extension joint push pull installed and this is what the new interface for that looks like and basically I'm going to talk about two things the first is you can use this method to create kind of a stamped profile of different objects so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the joint push pull extension we're going to click on the option for vector push pull and so what's going to happen is you're going to get this menu popped up but what you may notice and uh, I'm going to close out of this because I was inside a group but what you may notice is yours may look like this and the reason for that is for some reason these two options get hidden unless you click on more options and this is a really important part of that video that I did on um, slicer and so basically what this is going to allow us to do is there's an option over here under miscellaneous that allows us to project the shape on a plane and so basically what that means is we'll go ahead and we'll start off with let's start with this group and basically what that allows us to do is it's going to project this shape straight down onto a flat plane so you know normal push pull or normal joint push pull if you don't have that option selected you know that's just going to push this straight up or straight down and it's going to leave your original so basically it allows you to come in here and thicken this well if you click on this option for project the shape on a plane what that's going to do instead is that's going to project this as a flat shape so you get kind of the profile of that object and that's really important because what that allows us to do is that allows us on things like the sandbox shape to project that down so that it's flat on the bottom and then when you do that now if you come in here and click on this this is in here as a solid group and once it's in here as a solid you can 3d print it or you can also use slicer on it and so you can use this to thicken shapes into a flat plane. The other thing you can do though is you could also use this, let's say you wanted like a plan view of the sphere. So you didn't want to show like the sphere as a round shape. You just wanted to show like what it looks like if you were to kind of smash it flat. So what you could do is you could use vector push pull and in this case you would have this option selected for project shape on a plane. Then you could just click on the sphere, move your mouse down and then click again. Well what that does is that basically projects this sphere straight down into a flat shape. So you can see how this would look in a plan view if your sphere was hidden. And so you could do the same thing with this cylinder. So if you were to come in here and click on this cylinder, use vector push pull with the uh, project shape on a plane option, and then move this down, well what that does is that's actually projecting the shape straight down. And it gets a little weird sometimes, I think, if you click on the finishing option, if you click on the finishing option, that's going to move this down, and it looks like that'll just kind of erase your object. So, um, or if you click on the push pull erase original. So you're going to want to use this thicken, and you're going to want to move that down. And in this case, all you would have to do is just erase out these extra lines. So sometimes this comes in here, and this creates a little bit of extra geometry. But you can see how you can use this to stamp a curved profile straight down. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Sorry I kind of had to rush through this one this morning, but hopefully this kind of clears up the way that you can uh, project shapes using vector push-pull and joint push-pull. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.